So there I was Sunday night. I got back from my fishing match and I thought I'll call in Morrison's on way back and I'll pick up somewhere to have for my tea. I ah. thought, well, you know what? I didn't have a breakfast this morning, so I'll make up for it. So uh, one piece of bacon, one egg, one sausage, one tomato, one ash brown, and one bit of bread. Ah. And there's this gorgeous girl behind the counter, the cashier, and I'm putting all these items through, paying for them all. And obviously there's, there's one of everything, like. And she goes, uh, oh, look at you. One of everything. I went, yeah. She went, I bet you're a single fella, aren't you? I went, yeah, I am, actually. How did you know that? Is it because I'm buying one of everything? She went, no. She went, you're a very ugly chap, aren't you? That's not very nice, is it? I didn't think so, either. Bit, bit hurtful, that. So I had something similar, you know, but you? she said, you're a ginger chap. That's understandable, isn't it? But yeah. I, mean, I'm a little I didn't think it were very nice, though. I Bless won't be going back in. Well, you're not. No. Bless you. Bless you. How, but, we, how are your weekend? Well, I was just going to say, you, in particular, don't deserve things like that because you're such a nice guy. Oh, mate, I'm a lovely lad. Tell them what you did on Saturday. Saturday? Took kids out, didn't I? Not my kids. Other people's kids. Oh, well, you kids. have got kids, haven't you? I've got, oh, mate, I have got that many kids. No, I ain't got any. Um, it was the final sort of proper session for the Midlands Angling Trust Talent Pathway. Yeah. Towns and Lakes. Got seven youngsters there. Yeah. All top young lads. Love them all to bits. Brilliant. Um, it was blowing a gale, freezing cold. Um, wasn't very nice weather at all. It was chucking it down when we got there in the morning. And I thought, you know what? This is going to be a right. It's going to be a call off. Yeah. I thought we were going to have to write it off and end up in a classroom. And they all stuck it out. Sun come out in the afternoon. Awesome days fishing, caught loads of fish, learnt loads, I had a right good time with them all. It was brilliant, loved every minute of it. Awesome. And I'll tell you what, there's a couple, they're all very, very, very good, but I'll tell you who deserves a special mention this time, young yeah. Zach, you know, yeah. Mark Murdoch's little yeah. man. He's only 14 years old and he, he must have had close to £30 of uh, big skimmers. What's his surname, Matt? I think it's Wal- Walby or something like that. Right. It's Zach Walby. Yeah, yeah. Right nice little lad, right little character, dead cheeky smile, you'll see some pictures of him with his fish. Um, but he's really, really natural, looks great with a rod in his hand, but they all did really well. Young, uh, there's another young lad called Kieran, and he, he were on like, the end, and he were in a bit of a hard bit. And he won't, and he won't catch it out to start with, because I don't think there are any fish there. And uh, I were dead worried that he were going to get a bit despondent mm. and that, but he didn't. He stuck at it, he were like, no, I'm fine, I'll catch some later. And all of a sudden, he started catching some roach, and he started feeding on it. It was really, really good, and he's ended up catching four or five pound a nice little roach brilliant. on Paul. It was brilliant. They all had a, we had a lovely day with them all. They all did really well. Awesome. Well, and what comes next, then, in that series? It's There's, like, a day where they get... There's, like, the Southern Talent Pathway, Midlands, yeah. and the North. The next one's where they all get together at Barston and have, a, like, a bit of a competition... It's like a team thing, basically. Ah, I went last year, didn't yeah, I? Everyone yeah. sits in a line, don't they? And the England yeah. managers have a look yeah, at more. Yeah. And... But you can still go down and help them out. It's not too strict or anything. Like, no. come along and give them a bit of coaching and help them out. But, no, right, enjoyed it, mate. They, they, it's an absolute pleasure to work with someone. Awesome. Awesome. And was... what did you do Saturday night? Oh, I went partying, didn't I? Did you? Yeah. Tell me about your day Saturday first. What right. happened in your day? On Saturday, we went for a line-up. A line-up? Trentman, Matrix Dynamite Trentman, a line-up uh-huh. on the Gloucester Canal to practice for the forthcoming Census Challenge. Right. And we sat on a bit that none of us have ever fished before called Pomali. Pomali? Now, this bit of canal was a long, long way off the water. Ooh. Like eight foot off the water. Oh my Maybe Lord. Maybe a bit more. So we were like, oh, this is interesting. And like, first of all, we struggled to get his nets in and I had to set me in the keep net really low, so I got a couple of rings in so I could put some fish in it. Which was optimistic, I know, but, you know. Aye. And, um, you know, the other thing was, because it was just concrete and dead high and exposed, the wind caught it really well, so a couple of anglers had nightmares with things blowing in through the day. Right. So I'll talk about fishing in a minute, but the highlight of my day, from a team fishing point of view, was when my teammate, Stu Burdekin's pole, blew into the canal. Now, that sounds a pretty horrible thing to say, but we did get it back. Hmm. The canal is pretty much a ten-foot sheer drop right off that wall yeah where you fishing so as cold poles going in there i thought there's no way we're getting this back because it's 10 foot there it's probably 18 foot in the middle yeah big massive deep canal. so i thought no anyway a couple of others lee wright Stu, and myself had a put around with a weed rake and all of a sudden lee's gone i think i've got something here 
So Lee and Stu have pulled this pole up, right, and we've seen it. But then obviously we're 10 foot off the water. How do we get it? Go on. Young Ricky Marshall. Now, if ever you want a perfect team angler, he's the man. He came forward. He said, just dangle me off the edge if you want, lads. I like you what? Well, yeah, I'll get you that. So Gary Mumby and myself and James Wilson got hold of Ricky, dangled him off the edge. But like one of these? Yeah, yeah. Stu and Lee manoeuvred this pole a bit higher. Ricky grabbed it and we got his pole back. And he didn't get wet? No. Didn't you give him a cheeky little dunk? Felt like it, but no, <laughs> bless him. After, it's quite hard, you know, Ricky. Is yeah. it? It'd, it'd bite your head off if you did something like that. Kill Angry you. kid? Kill you. It'd struggle eight foot down off, off a concrete <laughs> wall, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be angry kid, wouldn't it? Yeah. How was the fishing, though? The fishing was good on that bit. We got yeah. caught a few fish. Really, really good. Um, Who were top performer in the team? Well, or your man of the day? It's a really close one, you see, because uh, Lee and I put um, two very experienced anglers on either end peg. Yeah. Um, one of them on the left hand end peg was Rob Perkins. He is very experienced, isn't he? Well, he's old, isn't he? So you know, yeah, sort of seventy, eighty years experience. <laughs> he's seen a lot of a lot of action over the yeah. years, bless him. Yeah. But he did brilliant, as he always bloody does. Or one of my angling heroes, Mr. Isn't Consistent. He won the session. He got probably fourteen pound of skimmers, I reckon. Brilliant. But well done, Pine Top. I'll tell you who came back well and will possibly take man of the match just because of how he came back, and that was Armour Joward. He had a horrible snag in front of him. He couldn't plumb up on the pole. Well, right. He was just like up and down, up and down. I'm like, oh dear, I'm glad I, glad I didn't sit on this one. I'm glad I'm up there where it's nice and flat. But he couldn't fish his pole line. And then he, he's found somewhere where he thought he could fish. He's fed. And because of that, like... He's gone to put his rig in and his bits he couldn't see, like strands coming off the bottom, whether it were a branch or what it was, I don't oh, know. God. He couldn't even put his rig in, he couldn't come catch on the pole. So, he's fed the slider line and he's caught close to double figures in the last couple of hours on the slider and come back really well. So Brilliant fishing as well, that. Oh, it? it's been ever so good. I mean, not all like that. Where I was, it was a bit more difficult. I yeah. caught, um, caught two big roach, a big perch and a few little fish. Um, Ricky Marshall next to me, he did really well. He caught some skimmers. Um, it was it was patchy, you know, as as that canal is, but great gonna be a great final next weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Really, really good. And then we went out that night, stopped at the Whitminster Inn, Gloucester Gold it were called, a real ale, and it just went down nice. Yeah, a few of them, did you? Me and Gary, Mumby and Stu Burdicky were pulling them away like they were going out of fashion. Oh it my was just Lord. Going down, lovely. Got to get it out of your system before big match. Well, you? we didn't. We were settled. We were still in bed for midnight. We took us time. Ah, you know, but, right. But you know what it's like when you get settled. Especially with guys, he can put them away. Can't he, he can knock them back. But you had a few. You sent it. Weren't very well, were you? Spilling drinks, falling over, and chewing gum in hair. That's I three agree. things I've heard about from you. Do you know, like when you have a little spell in your match where things start to go wrong for you? Yeah. Well, I went out for someone's birthday. A little Meg, one of my mates from school. We're a twenty-fifth birthday. Yeah. And we uh, we got a load of old schoolmates together and we decided to have a night out in Sheffield. I ain't got out on on Sunday, on Mother's Day. So I was having a day at home. So I thought I'd go out. And uh, uh, as night went on, I got a little bit more tipsy, more and more tipsy. Yeah. And at one point, and, and my match were going quite well yeah. at this point. And I stood at bar with Meg, whose birthday it was. And I decided to knock a drink over onto her. Not intentionally. So she copped for that. And then about an hour later, after a few more sambucas, you know when you go upstairs, there's uh, them blokes in toilets, isn't they, selling perfume, yeah, yeah. and they sell, like, flowery necklaces, don't they? Yeah. And um, they sell all weird stuff you put on your head, and they sell chewing gum and lollipops, don't they? Right, right. So I bought a load of chewing gum and lollipops off him. Don't know why. So I started eating this chewing gum, and then next minute I was talking to little Meg, whose birthday it was, yeah. who I'd already knocked a drink on. yeah. And my chewing gum come out. Oh, no. And went in her hair. Bless. But then I, I played a right trick. Ah. I quickly grabbed it, put it back in my mouth, and, and she says, is it all gone? And I was looking down, and I could see a load left in her hair. And I went, yeah, it's all gone. And that were her birthday? Yeah. She's going to have to have read it, well, freeze it. That's the only way to get it out, did it? But freeze it. I'll show you what she did. She uh, sent me a picture the next morning. She solved it? She solved it with a pair of scissors. Bless her. Bless her. But that were it. Good night. Didn't Lovely. feel so well yesterday. Never drinking again. Man down. We're in bed all Man afternoon, down. weren't you? I were asleep in the afternoon and I were slept well last night. Ah. I only just feel all right now. How were your day, Sunday? Sunday, mate, I had a very interesting day. Ah. 
I drew um, Peg 56 at Hempstead. Yeah. Stop it. It's rubbish. And there was a big boat rally on. Was there? 250 boats went up the canal in the morning. Ah. Uh. And 250 air boats came back in the afternoon. Big uns. Rowers, rowing boats. Rowers. Rowing boats. Were they singing but, as they were going past? You know, I don't mind rowers at places like Evesham, where they all tend to be like... 18 to 25-year-old females. Yes, that's a, and I quite... I don't mind that. If you're going to have to move your pole out of the way or somebody, <laughs> if you're going to have to, you know, mind your slider or whatever else, it might as well be because there's a good-looking girl going past you yeah. on the boat. But these weren't in that category. These were all bloody ankle biters and young kids who went to where they were going and right. going all over the canal. And <coughs> so it wasn't any good for that. And yeah. Some old ones and all. Some well, old ones, yeah, but there were very, very few. For a real, I nearly put a complaint in, actually. Really? Yeah, there were a distinct lack of quality eye candy on the, in the boat. So it's no good, is it? Anyway. Um, on to the fishing. I, yeah, I drew Peg 56. Long walk. I had to walk from Peg 1 because I couldn't get parked anywhere. That was the first thing. Did keep you fit? A long stroll. Yeah. Um... No, it's skimmers there. I've got Mark Brush on my left. It was a brilliant angler. Gordon League angler. You've been um, sweeping up round there, haven't you? Gio, you said. <laughs> Cleaning up. Cleaning up. Cleaning up. up. Cleaning anyway. Up. He, um, he's, Did he's you have much bristle it. stuck out? Stop it. I didn't want m Where are you? Nobody were ahead of me. I bet he, couldn't, the match. I bet he couldn't handle it, could he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so he were to my left. And then he got the better pegs to my right. And I actually drew what in the better pegs uh, yeah. in the summer when I, I drew in that particular area. And I caught some big bream that day and some skimmers and we're best weight in that sort of pound. But um, I was where the less favoured pegs were on that day this time. Yeah. And so um, I decided to fish a small fish line short and a more positive line long. Yeah. And to cut a long story short, it was very, very hard for a lot of anglers. It was hard for me. I've had two skimmers, proper ones, um, probably pound fish. Nice. I've had one smaller skimmer about eight ounce. And I had about three little fish like that. And I weighed £2.14, which was good enough only for second in my section. Mm. Mark brushed to my left, beat me off the MPEG with £3.01. He won the section. I was three ounces off, so or four ounces off or something. Close match? Yeah, but I lost one, Matt. I bumped one. Never mind. Bad angling. No. Bad angling. So, must try harder for next weekend. Um, we're looking forward to it. We're off there to do a feature and have a little practice later in the week, aren't we? We are, yeah. We're going to have Thursday, Friday, aren't we? Yeah. So, fingers crossed, the census challenge will be very good for all concerned. I'm going to leave you with a little bit of footage of Hempstead Bend, which is where... We'll both draw. Hopefully, on Saturday. And we'll report from with news of our fantastic catchers. Until then, see you later. Love you, bye-bye. <laughs>